What's up, guys? Sorry about the uh, intro there, but uh, I do have a project update for you guys. This is my Bachman GP38-2, <coughs> number 8824, ex-Northland Western. Kind of hit the lettering right there, here, but <coughs> <coughs> excuse that. But <coughs> that's the front headlight and the back headlight. I custom built and added another one. But this one here won't be Norfolk Western anymore. I went to the little Chi Chi Shop in Spencer and purchased some uh, supplies to work on my GP38. And the first is a Nathan M5 with K5 LA 23 with the sand. <coughs> and I paid that much for it. And they are unpainted metal, which is really, really, really easy to bend the horn trumpets. And there's a side view of it that I'll take out of the like, I'll take, Let me get my scissors right quick. I'm going to do an unboxing, do the packaging of this. Now back. So uh, I, I usually just cut. Apparently, that's the horn stand. And that's your horn sir, right there. That's <coughs> really, really small. Gotta drill a hole for that. But that's what the horn looks like right there. Should have all the trumpets on it. And also, an iPad for Christmas for some of it. And check something out here. See, I hope you guys are willing to come to this event. It should be fun, and I'm working up. <coughs> so, Alright, the engines we have coming, so then I'll describe later. But <coughs> You know, back to the real purpose of the video. So now we got that stuff out of the way. Let's get to the video that I'm going to kind of table. So, so I didn't have it taped, but I cut it a while back. <coughs> That's right. Norfolk Southern decals. Is that a thing? Oh, wow. I didn't know this thing anyone wants to do. This is a micro scale decal uh, decal sheet, Norfolk Southern, and I believe I kind of messed up. That's a low hood. Diagram shows your regular. I did, and it should have all the. Yeah. All this right here is detail forks and stuff you can buy for. <coughs> now you look for blank number board. But I plan to litter this engine with these decals, hopefully. So. And a friend gave me this one in a trade at work, the museum, for his, 
because that's when I had a Southern Railway box car that I was using anymore. And I decided, well, I'm not using it, so why don't I just uh, give it to him and uh, he can use it. So, but, yeah, I mean, it, that headlight wasn't on it. It had handrails, but I'm going uh, to work on those in a little while. Thinking about weather in this thing. This is in a little later. But if I can get away with that. <coughs> but what the purpose, the real purpose of this video was is for review of the engine. Sadly, I got it Christmas. And a week or so before Christmas. And had uh, all the handrails and stuff took off of it before Christmas. So, <coughs> back to the review. On there, it does say Bachman China. I, mean, I, I believe this thing looks like a real. You just that center fan in there, I'm going to have to cut that out somehow and replace that. Because that third fan is kind of too tall. And that one there is kind of short, but I mean, if you look, there are see-through fans, and this was a powered locomotive, I believe. Sure. I'm this way, but I mean, I like it, and uh, it still has the window post, windows, and everything on it. I'm thinking, should I wither it or not? You guys let me know if I should wither it or not. But I know I'm going to have to fix the number boards because they were blacked out using the sharpie. And it did say North and Western there. I'm not sure what it is. So let's patch that light or just shade it off a little bit. But I'm planning to make, to make this a high hood using the high hood kit from micro scale and hopefully uh, hopefully getting a few more units like it for my trailer train which would be showcasing this trailer right here so this trailer will be on my uh, trailer train behind this unit on a flat car so it's like there I think I don't know so I have to kind of work through and while we're speaking of Norfolk Southern, I do have some of the uh, cards with the engines on them. I got these from the museum because they had too many overruns from the heritage event. <laughs> I do have staff, media, visitor, Pennsylvania. Oh, uh, guest, Norfolk Western. Media is Monongahela. Oops. Staff, the interstate unit. Visitor again in green is the nickel plate. Guest in green is the southern. Media is North, uh, New York Central. And staff is there. It is. But there should be one. There's eight cards, and they were all used to get into the Heritage Mint. So if you guys are coming out for the Streamliner event in Spencer, um, you will see me there. Hopefully you guys come because we're going to have some very, very rare engines and I'm fixing to tell you which ones. 
So going through here, we have the Norfolk Southern 4270 and 4271. Now from Junior Locomotive Works, we have the Pennsylvania E units, which are 5711 and 5809. And then from the museum showcase where I work at, 6900, 6133, and the 501, which we finally got running again, thanks to our master mechanic. And then uh, Lackawanna, is that a 6 or an 8? Yeah. One number 66, 663, and then we have 2019, the last surviving FL, FL9, which has two axles on the front and three in the back. And that's the, the Heritage Unit event looked like for you guys that didn't go. I didn't go either, but this is... Uh, That's what it looked like. So that's what the goal is this year is to fill all the tracks up with the, uh, it says here, the museum's goal will to bring as many streamliner units together as possible for an event on par with NS's 2012 Heritage Unit event. Six weeks to plan and execute. So, you know, just the, most people did show up. And then the guy I work with, Steve Merce, you know, he's talking about the heritage units, but, oh well. But, uh, you guys ought to come to it. So, I mean, I'm just going ahead and giving you a heads up. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully, y'all, y'all come and can, uh, you know, show up for a while, but we should be having the units. May and June. So, uh, that is the end of this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and please leave good comments. Thank you.